Hey everybody, welcome to the Sky Lounge. Here to review some Lakers action as we win 129-114 to 114 last night against the Dallas Mavericks in Dallas. And of course, boys and girls, the Lakers do have a game tonight against the Oklahoma City Thunder. And in this particular game against the Mavericks, a couple of news. Rob Polinka being promoted to VP of Basketball Operations. I don't know if it's VP of Basketball Operations or VP Basketball Operations, but he got promoted Still has his GM title, so lots of trust from the Bus family to give him that my that much uh, responsibility. And you had Anthony Davis out for this game in Dallas, and it's a gluteus maximus contusion, which I guess is a fancy word for saying his ass got hurt. And so hopefully his ass heals up because we're going to need his ass in the near future. But in the game yesterday against the Mavericks, we didn't need much; just needed a. Woken up, LeBron James, and an efficient Kyle Kuzma. We got both. Obviously, the story persists uh, of LeBron James' health. Um, he will be out today against Oklahoma City Thunder. But last night, boy, oh boy, he, he put on a fucking clinic. 35 points, 16 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal. Um, obviously, when you got a guy like LeBron James performing the way he is, it's just incredible. It adds... Uh, so much substance to your team and it inspires the troops to rally and, and do more. Um, Kyle Kuzma, 11 points, I believe in the first quarter, just a stud all in his own right. Going up, going up against the Dallas team that I thought really from the get go, it was Luca versus everybody else. I know, I know Hardaway jr. Got 22 points, seven rebounds. Um, once what is this one steal? But the reality to me is Luca was doing everything. He had the ball more than anybody else, and almost everybody around him just kind of there, not really pushing the issue, I feel. Of course, I mean, you, you got to talk about Luca 25 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists, a phenomenal night from him where... He shows his emotions. Let's just say that. Luka Doncic ripping up his fucking jersey because he missed four out of five free throws early in the game. At least in the first half. I believe that was late in the second quarter. Or somewhere in the second quarter. And within that time frame, you also have Rick Carlisle getting kicked out of the game. Ejected for an argument against the refs. But in all honesty, I mean, I think the refs have been... Damn near inconsistent and, and aggravating to the point of just, you know, what what the fuck are they actually going to do? And what they do is, is respond emotionally. That's what the refs do. And fortunate for the Lakers, I mean, they are able to pounce on this shit. Um, the Lakers are, I mean, they're up like, but like 20 some odd points at one point. I mean, by the halftime. They were in such a convincing, you know, bully mode that I never felt Dallas was a threat. Um, but despite all of that, of course, I mean, it is Dallas. It is in Dallas, and they will push the issue um, late in the game. And unfortunately, I mean, for not having Porzingis, it felt a little short uh, for Dallas. And I really do feel, I mean, you put Porzingis back in this lineup, Oh, maybe a little bit of J.J. Barea also in there. I mean, it, it's a completely different story. But right now, Dallas is so predicated on the one or two pieces doing everything right that uh, feels like a mosaic, kind of. You know, without all the right fucking pieces, all fucked up and jagged. But for the Lakers, despite missing the big piece, they're able to get the win on the road. And... Obviously, a much harder task tonight without AD, without LeBron James, to go to Oklahoma City to face the Thunder and try to get a win. It's going to be hard. It's going to be grimy. But, man, Kyle Kuzma has been there before. Uh, Kyle Kuzma, Alex Caruso, JaVale McGee, KCP, Rondo, they've all been there before. They've been there during the worst years of the Lakers. I think they're going to get this shit done. So, hopefully... We make a review uh, video tonight talking about the Lakers win. So let's keep it going, boys. Let's keep it going, Lakers. So follow me at the Sky Lounge and all the links in the description below. Like, comment, subscribe for more daily contents. Let's go, Lakers.
Fuck off.